here I want to say thank you for um, returning to my channel this is the 2020 general reading for the year 2020 okay so this is the general reading I want to say to each and every one um, remember to become a member and as you become a member um, you can choose the extended reading the medium extended reading or the super extended reading okay I want to say to each and every person um, I am so grateful um, for the support all these years and uh, um, it is wonderful um, to be connected with such a positive alignment of energies okay ladies and gentlemen it is a year okay and it is the change in and every year I said this and I think people um, are not aware of what exactly is happening there is so much changes on this planet and as of 2020 dramatic changes are going to be coming up and you guys are all going to be seeing this okay so what 2020 is actually it's a year of spontaneous okay 2020 is a year of spontaneous and 2020 is guided and it's guiding a lot of people the air sign people and the fire sign people okay because 2020 is based on the spontaneous, the start of a new beginning, all right? You are going to be choosing um, whether you understand what it is to be a member of this planet or um, not, okay? So what is basically um, happening and transpiring for a lot of people what is going to be happening is that you won't be able to feel the changes that is coming in if you're not open up to the changes okay because this planet is uh, um, changing as we speak the vibration of this planet is really really changing and uh, um, a lot of people are feeling it and a lot of people do not know how to deal with these changes and what is going to be happening and transpiring is that we need to make um, the changes for ourselves. we need to understand what is happening so it is a form of uh, balancing out uh, um, the the spiritual uh, the materialistic and spiritual side so it's as if 2020 is going to give you a new start for life okay it is going to be as if the universe is saying okay so we have been going through this process since 2012 and now we are at the beginning of a shift that is about to take and the shift um, is going to happen whether or not you as a person is going to be shifting because the shift has to be made okay everything um was already created and designed okay and this is why the europeans are working to make sure that by 2025 oh, everything is green meaning electric water um we're not polluting the hair anymore because they are aware of the shift that is coming in okay because there is there is a lot of people are not aware of the ozone layer we only have um, 50,000 years on this planet, okay? Um, and after that, um, we have to all ascend, okay? We have to find another place to live. And this is why in the 80s, people were having these things that we need to create. And in the 80s, the crop circles were coming up and the crop circles were activating light, light, um, multi-dimension star seeds uh, people and people were saying that you know it's not alien and this and the adoption of aliens and that yes it was it was okay not all of us is from this planet we all need to educate ourselves about who we are and why we're here why would you think that we are the only existing person on this planet it is just totally ridiculous i think we have to be awakened that we are not the only existence in this universe and in this solar system a lot of people are buying um 
<laughs> a lot of people are buying um, pieces of land on Mars, but Mars is not your planet and it will never be your planet. The planet Mars was designed and the Asian, the Asiatic, not Asians, not Asians, Asiatic people came from Mars. There was an explosion on Mars. There was another civilization on Mars and her will be, would have been the other, um, planet. So there would have been communication with people flying from her to Mars. But when they were developing stuff on Mars to bring to her, there was an explosion, a huge explosion. And that is why there is no civilization on Mars. Okay. The, a the, the, um, Asian people, yellow skin people are from Mars. Okay. And this is why these people are so different. If you notice how they are, the Philippines, uh, um, uh, um, the Japanese, the Chinese, um, the Koreans, they're totally, totally different than normal civilization on this planet is because they came from Mars. Okay. Cause after the explosion, um, they all had to be bring to hurt. So this is it. And we all need to educate ourselves on this planet and understand why they're different color people and realize that the color and the skin color of someone doesn't um, um, describe who the person is. We need to learn to see people from a soul, um, from a heart space chakra, instead of looking at uh, the color of someone's skin, okay? None of us are, um, uh, you know, a lot of people are not aware we don't own this planet. We came here to learn lessons and we're going to leave this planet. So everyone who is buying up stuff and wants to take this and take that and being just very and destroying this planet, it's not your planet to be destroyed. Okay. So, um, 2020 is going to be the changing of, uh, um, a shift, a paragon shift. Okay. It is, um, 2020 is going to give people, time between 2020 2025 2027 is going to give people time to balance out themselves to understand the difference between spirituality and balance out spirituality and the material world okay and as you do that you will be connecting with your spirit guides and angel that is going to be guiding you you will find masters like myself and other light beams and other light workers who are out there multi-dimension uh crystal kids indi indigo kids and that sort of a thing i was um listening to a program and I see that a group of Adi uh, people, um, they um, created a group and a business together. And I think that that is what is going to be actually happening as we go, as we enter 2020. I see these groups that has been placed out of society is coming back and bringing in their own ideas, energy and creating new things on this planet. And this is going to be good. So, um. 2020 is the beginning of the next stage. It's as if we're coming out of uh, the period of uh, Pisces in the uh, Aquarian. So, you know, think of uh, removing out of uh, um, the three dimension to the fourth dimension. And a lot of people are going to be have to choose um, to move themselves from the three dimension, which is the materialistic uh, world and learn to balance out materialistic and spiritual and this is exactly what is going to be transpiring this is the changing of the paragon shift 2020 is the energy of the paragon shift okay two and zero is the universal um goddesses i princess and God is speaking to you. So it's the masculine feminine. 20. Two is the eye princess, which is the mother God, okay? Or the mother of source, okay? And zero is omega, okay? That is the source. Omega 
is the source, whatever you want to call him. That is the source. That is the person that is coming back. It is the circle of Omega. And that is coming back to who you are. So it is as if it's a year of rebirth. Okay. It is a year of rebirth where um, your mother, Mother Earth, the God of Goddesses, the Eye Princess, your guiding angel, the intuition is speaking to you and helping you to make a change. Two is a portal. It's the opening of people accepting the unseen and the seen world. As of uh, um, 2025, people are going to start realizing the shift, the paragon shift. Okay, 2025 is where the paragon shift is going to start happening, where people are going to be understanding and realizing that we were not told the truth from we were born. Okay, and this is um, where a universal spirit guides are going to start coming in and connecting with people and people are going to start bringing out the news and 2025 um, there is going to be an uprising of people being upset that they weren't aware of certain things. So 2020 is giving you the chance to open a portal. Okay. If you understand two zero is the Omega two Gaia Omega and Gaia is saying, you need to awaken, you need to eat the planet, you need to make sure that you make the right choices as to what direction you're going to be going. Are you going to stay in the three dimension? Are you going to move to the fourth dimension? Are you going to intellect yourself to understand what is happening on this planet? Are we going to start healing the planet? And by healing ourselves first, then we can heal the planet. You can't heal something if you yourself isn't ill, okay? So a lot of people are out there and healing other people while they are still dealing with issues. And, and, and you know, you got to heal yourself. When you reach to the point of unconditional love, um, when you reach to the point of seeing someone um, really stabbing you in the back and you can say, you know, forgiveness is the key. That is when you have unconditional love. When you realize that the people that you love the most have done you injustice and you can still love them with a open heart without an, any conversation, without an, um, then you know that you have reached the fourth dimension. Okay, so it's not like, all right, I forgive them, but I don't want to see them. That's not how it works. It's really, really understanding that that person is on their journey and they had to work through certain issues and you were a part of their movie. Okay, this is how you're going to be understanding. This is how simply I can break it down. Okay, so um, a lot of light workers and a lot of uh, multi-dimension and a lot of people are saying oh my god this is so hard it's like the more I become spiritual is the more I have these huge lessons that I'm having and it's true it's true it's because um, we um, especially uh, multi-dimensions um, we um, we were asked to come to this but we volunteer to come to this planet okay as star seeds were asked to come to this planet, but multi dimensions volunteer because we have been through this ascension process for many, many years. We have done it. Okay. And if you trace your bloodline back, you can know who you are. Okay. And the problem is that we volunteer to come because we are the wiser. We have the wisdom within us. And we have gone through this process and this is why we are back, okay? So, the journey has now begun, ladies and gentlemen. This planet have only 50,000 years to go. And uh, um, we all have to do something about uh, um, the horizon layers. So, each and every person out there, 
however way you are going to try to help we have to heal mother earth because mother earth needs to be ill as we move into 2025 2027 going on to 2030 a lot of you are going to be reconnecting with your um your star seed family a multi-dimension family and it depends on what you have spoken to them um, the people who were adopted in the 80s and return your energy um, feel had to be um, it's like they had to add certain um, 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 certain DNA strong to your energy feel and that was why you were adopted they had to test drive some of them eggs were taken so that they could create um, superhumans and that is what is um, they are going to be coming back to help us some of us is going to ascend some of us spiritual guides are going to come for some of us is going to be returning um, by our, um, our ancestors from the different solar system is gonna come if we don't heal this planet ladies and gentlemen in 50 um 50,000 it's like 50,000 years from now we got to get off cuz it's going to be so hot um it's going to be burning okay um if you notice uh, um the ices are melting in the north um we are not the only civilization on this planet we have people living in all of earth and this is why you can't go to the south pole and north pole okay it's because that is the entrance to hollow heart um, the beams in hollow heart are very beautiful a lot of people are aware of this a lot of people are not aware okay we are not the only civilization on this planet so wake up ladies and gentlemen educate yourself go google that and we'll talk let's get in the reading it is the year of the fool it is the year of the fool it is the year is a spontaneous year whatever is happening it is the year of the fool 22 so 22 22 2020 it's 22 all right it's the secret and the sounding of omega that is the zero now it is a new start if you notice the major arcana go to 21 okay 22 is coming back in circles 22 is a number that is not broken down but it's not in the energy of the Torah, which it is mother father god speaking to you actually two is the eye princess zero is the omega and here we have it so zero is the fool spontaneous having this new start to deal with um situation you're actually getting a second um, a second chance ladies and gentlemen so understand what is going on educate yourself ladies and gentlemen and understand things all right so omega is this year 2020 is actually a new start to a new civilization it's the changing of the guard to the new era okay you're you're restarting it's like your restart button you're restarting your life and you can now change your life to balance out the energies on this earth we have another situation where two and two is four this is all about power it's all about the masculine energy it's all about you regaining your power okay it's all about you regaining your power and understanding who you are and why you're on this planet um this is the energy of mastering your own um power bringing in positive energy mastering your own power bringing back and understanding who you are and why are you on this planet so it's about taking back your own power ladies and gentlemen okay so you're getting this year to take back your own power and to relive your life with the positive energy vibration of mother earth where venus is going to be coming in and that is the reason why jupiter is now in capricorn because capricorns and a lot of people are not aware of this but hold on this is just a little lesson capricorns 
or one of the most um, spiritual bodies and followed by the Virgos, Pisces. And if you notice, uh, um, Capricorns, Jupiter is in the sign of Capricorns because Capricorns has been going through since Capricorns are born. Um, there is not one Capricorns that can say, I have a perfect life because you choose to be born under the sign of Capricorn because you change and bring discipline back in um, organization institution. Okay, so where there is deceptiveness in organization and institution, if you are working on a positive energy vibration, you see these things. It's like some people, once they touch or go in an organization where there is deceptiveness, um, they actually um, find the deceptiveness and it's as if they vibrate because their vibration and energy is from pure, pure energy. So if you notice, uh, the healers, the, the Sagittarians and the Ophiosis uh, are also very powerful in this year because the Ophiosis are the healers, Sagittarians and Ophiosis. A Sagittarians have multi-talent, just like a Capricorn. But the Capricorns are the one who are spiritually balancing Venus, Saturn and Jupiter. Welcome to a new start. Take your powers back. Make sure you make the right decision in this year because after this year, you can't change time because time is speeding up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go in and the reading. This is really something for um, a lot of people are not aware. Of. So this year is the is a is a year of a new start. It's a, this is a new start. A lot of people are going to be changing career jobs, relocations. It's going to be here. But uh, ooh, bam, bam, bam. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, join me on Fridays when we do pull the card. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you're you're receiving a brand new start. Whoever you are out there, whatever question you have just asked yourself, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a yes. Okay? It is a yes. Let's move in because this year is going to be a fabulous year, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Um, a fabulous year because you're taking back your power and some of you are going to be receiving a new start. So let's see what's happening. So in January, what do we have we have the energy of the water sign. Judgment call. Informations are going to be coming out. Judgment call. Informations are going to be coming out. So this is the time where you're going to be making new decision, ladies and gentlemen, because this is a water energy and this is about finding out something, making changes in your life, changes that is going to be affecting you in the long run okay so this is um really powerful really beautiful coming in the year of january with a water energy february is the energy of the hangman whatever is happening and transpiring is like coming back it's like coming you know realizing oh oh my god okay I got to make changes. It's like going within and realizing that you have a new opportunity to make changes on this planet. Okay. And this is what it's all about. An opportunity to make changes on this planet. Then as we look at March, bam, 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 we have the earth energy of the Empress. And this is going to be wonderful and beautiful because in March, financial stability, the nurturing energy comes back because it's as is you have been dealing with situation the whole year around. And what is happening here in March is that an earth energy is coming in. So you have two water energies beginning the year and now you have the energy of the hurt comes in and this is going to be super, super wonderful. It's going to be a positive alignment of energy because this is the energy of the Capricorns. This is the energy of the Capricorns that is going to be bringing nurturing to people and bringing back um, mighty financial stability that is going to be coming in 
for you guys. Okay. So, um, it, the first three months is about, um, rebalance, um, being aware of situation, understanding what is going on and rebalancing out yourself. Okay. So we have water, we have uh, water in January where information is going to be coming in. In February, you're trying to go within and, and plan and see what is much better. How am I going to deal with certain things? What am I going to be changing in myself, in my life? Going within to find out and answering questions. And then we have the Empress, which is just so beautiful, which is the energy of the Capricorns. So as we look, we see this, this, the, um, this energy is actually you finding balance within yourself. Okay. I love the energy of the sun in the middle in April. I see justice coming in. Justice is coming in, in April. This is wonderful. This is positive. Whatever the situation is or was, I see justice coming in, in April. This is wonderful. It's beautiful. It's a positive alignment of energy with the energy of justice coming in in April. In May, we got the energy of the sun. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. In May, the energy of the sun is as if you took the time to realize and find out what is transpiring on this planet. This is a beautiful time in the month of May um, when balance come in and then you feel your energy coming back. In June, I see the energy of the tower, whatever that is going on, whatever needs to leave your life in June, let it go because it's time to leave this issue, this situation behind. This situation has no place in your life anymore. As we look at the second half, July, the wheel of fortune comes up in July. This is fabulous, fabulous, beautiful year. Um, the Wheel of Fortune comes up in July, so the people who are having birthday in July, this is going to be a fabulous, fabulous year for you. However you see this, however, it is transpiring and happening. It's going to be a fabulous year, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So, um, as we um, align with our energies, as we align with our energies, we are seeing temperance, another earth energy coming up in um, the month of uh, August. Temperance, this is the earth energy coming up in August. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. It is a wonderful alignment of energy that is coming up in August. And this is beautiful. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh my then we have another earth energy in September. Now this is healing a situation with organization institutes they coming together, releasing whatever that needs to be released. And I see in the month of September, you're healing a situation that has to inspire. You have another earth energy. So a, a, a very wonderful year, I should say, because you're receiving the opportunities uh, to also heal as you um, go along, okay? You're actually healing as you go along. I see you're understanding um, a lot of things that is going to be transpiring and coming out. So wonderful alignment of energies um, that is transpiring. Um, this year gives a lot of people the opportunity to make changes. Make changes, make LT healthy changes in your life okay so let's see what is coming out um so we had the hermit in the month of january and the hermit has to do with the seeing the truth of situations that is transpiring okay seeing the truth of situation that is going to be transpiring okay and it's going to be wonderful and beautiful because whatever is happening and transpiring, it's going to be a powerful, powerful year that is happening. Okay. So let's go on and see um, what is happening and what is transpiring. Oh, no. So what is transpiring is that 
the eye princess comes up in October we have the energy of the eye princess coming up in October I know she would have showed up because two is the energy of the eye princess and I think she gives you guys the space to understand what is to inspire now she is coming up in the month of um, the same um, October in the month of November you have the energy of the star yay and November is positive it is a month of healing after like trying to find yourself kind of going through and trying to find yourself and this is um, really really good because what this energy of the star is that the hair sign people um, this um, month of November is going to be good for the Aquarians whatever is transpiring it's going to be good for the Aquarians but it is also a month November with the month of healing which is so fabulous okay December yeah ladies and gentlemen and especially for the people who were born in December you have gone through this year on a beautiful beautiful note you are ending this year on a beautiful beautiful note and you have the energy of the chariot you have the energy of the chariot so ladies and gentlemen we have four quarters in this year and we are going to be going back to all the four quarters in this year to see um what is going to be happening and transpiring as i go month to month i'm going to tell you guys who are going to be aligned in these months so what i'm seeing is transition also coming up okay there is a lot of transition that is coming up for each and every person so remember we have the energy of the hermit what is the hermit the hermit is shedding light on issues and situation in your life the hermit energy um, has to do with um, the scorpions and uh, the Pisces okay um, it's like shedding light on situation that you were not aware of as we go to February it is the month of the Pisces and I see the Pisces bring up balance to the rest of the water sign so I see the water signs are basically helping out the rest of the sign coming in this year as we look at March I see the Capricorns are going to be doing well in March Capricorn March is your month if you're starting a business whatever you decide to do March is your month okay so justice justice is here in the month of april and that is the energy of the liberans so april is going to be good for you liberans the energy of the sun is here in the month of may and it has to do with the leos in the month of may in the month of june i see a tower moment and the tower moment and this is it because a lot of people the energy of the sun is the leo but it's also the energy of the Sagittarians because the wheel of fortune is the energy of the Ophiosis. So, you know, a lot of books need to be rewritten, especially in this year, because a lot of um, situations have changed and this planet is coming up with change. So, Ophiosis, your month is going to be um july so you ophiosis your month is july wheel of fortune is here so the tower moment is actually because a lot of people have been um going through to say that the tower moment the tower moment is really the energy of the leos and the and, and the aries uh, because the tower moment has to do with uh, um the tower moment has to do with uh, um the transformation okay so whenever there is transformation because something is coming down okay um the tower is something is coming down something is leaving your life so it is a transformation okay it is transformation and i wish people would stop saying that the energy of the devil is the capricorn because it's not the capricorn so the tower moment is the energy of mars which is the energy of Aries. 
So um, that's about um, destruction, abruption, changes, and lightning. Okay, so that is what is is ending the first quarter. It's a, an energy of Mars. So as we go back and we look at these months and see what exactly, because a lot of people, um, um, is you know, people associate uh, and see. Um, the wheel of fortune is Jupiter and Jupiter is the Sag Sagittarius and the Ophiosis. So Sagittarius and Ophiosis, your month is going to be July because that is Jupiter. But the Capricorns is your month too because Jupiter is in Capricorn in this year. Unbelievable. So we had in January the energy of the Hermit. Now the hermit is, uh, um, it's not a Virgo. The hermit is actually the scorpion or cause the hermit is a water energy. Okay. And I think one of the best person that I've seen really did this, did this so powerful because, um, the new people are saying that, um, the hermit is, uh, um, the Virgos. No, the hermit is like the cancers, the water sign people. Okay, because they always shed light on situation. Water sign people always seeing because they connect with the unseen world. The hermits, the, 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 the Virgos are the balancing because they know how to balance the spirit and they are the only one on this planet that knows how to balance the spirit world and, um, and, um, the materialistic and the spirit world is the only person is the Virgos. Okay. I, I really have respect for the Virgos. So a lot of people have been rewritten in um, book and the hermit is all about uh, soul searching, reflection and truth. But that is also the energy of the hangman. Okay. So if you notice the two first, uh, the two first months uh, is where you have the hermit uh, and the hermit is not, um, the hermit is not um, the Virgos. Um, the hermit is not the Virgos. The hermits are the scorpion, the cancers, and the Pisces because they always show you up, okay? As we look at February, we're dealing with Neptune going within, okay? So it is a time where you suspend yourself going within, trying to figure out what is going on, introspect, trying to balance out your feelings, um, looking back on the year before, this is the month for the Pisces, the month of February. As we look at the month of March, and again, um, March is where the Empress comes in. And the Empress is actually the energy of the Capricorns, okay? And I love this because a lot of people are not aware of this, but the Empress is the energy of the Capricorns and Venus rule the Capricorns. And that's why Capricorns are very loving. But uh, when, um, um, that's why Capricorns are not very open. Um, and if even you're in a relationship with a Capricorn, um, you will know that they love you because that's the only reason why they open up their lives to you. But, um, if they, if they hand something, they end it and they can do as if they don't even know you. When Capricorns love, they love deeply. And when you hurt them, they will cut you off like, um, so Empress, the Empress is the mother of the hurt. And remember, um, it's as if mother hurt is given a new start and the Capricorns has been going through such a horrific time. And a lot of people are not aware of it, but the Capricorns, are um, the mothers of the hurt, especially the female. They're very, um, they're the goddesses, okay? If you notice and look at a Capricorn, how they behave, they behave like the goddess, okay? Especially the, the women who are aware of who they are. They behave like the goddess. They're very feminine and they're the mother earth. And that is what is in March. As we move on um, again till... Um, April, we have balance. We have uh, the scale is being balanced in April where we have to deal with uh, the energy of uh, justice. And I love this because the energy of justice uh, 
is about law it's about fairness and balancing okay the law is on your side it's about fairness and balancing and it has to do with a Libran. so Libra in april is going to be your month as we move forward and we look at the energy of uh, may this is going to be good for the gemini's um may is going to be good for you gemini's and i'm you know what i realized is that the devil is not in this year and i'm so happy um because um if the devil was in this year you'd uh, there is would be so much disaster okay so the sun positive vibration warmth and radiance okay the sun is bringing in abundance and if you notice where it is it's like in in, in the month of may May is like one of these months. If I would choose to be born, it would be in May. So the sun is going to radiate and it's going to affect each and every person because the sun is not connected to anyone. The sun is the universal energy, just like the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And that's coming up um, in um, the month of May. So the month of May is going to be good for a lot of people. I'm loving that. So, um, then we have the energy of the tower okay i'm so glad the devil didn't come up all right so it's mars in the month of june we see in july the wheel of fortune that is for the capricorns the sagittarians and for um the ophioses okay then we're moving on to temperance virgos your month is going to be the month of august you virgos virgos you are in the month of august oh my god <laughs> okay so we have temperance and so we have virgos and you virgos are definitely it's about bringing balance in your world it's about balancing out things that is the Virgos, and people are saying that it's the Sagittarians. Sagittarians, no, because Sagittarians are like go getters. Um, Sagittarians are really like go getters. I love Sagittarius because they have this like this powerful energy, and um, that is one of the reasons why I so love Sagittarians. Virgos are about balancing out issues and situations, okay then what is so powerful is that in the month of september which never really really happened we have the energy of taurus in the month of september and that is powerful because it's about conventional it's about institution and it's about tradition and this is so wonderful and so powerful so this is it's like group of, by joining groups and that sort of a thing and bringing in conventional ideas and this is just so powerful because what is transpiring is that we have the ear event coming up and this is just so powerful okay the energy of the ear event coming up in the month of september doesn't really happen for a very very long time so this is earth energy and it's balanced and this is what i said to a lot of people if you listen to my reading from last year is that in the month of um in the month of um in the year 2020 a lot of different changes is going to be coming up so that is good so the third quarter is a very good quarter because it begins with the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is going to be actually the capricorns the sagittarians and the ophiosis are going to be helping other people to bring luck in their lives then we go to the earth sign of balance so if you notice that the third quarter um or uh, july august and september is very balanced out it's lucky for you so let's see what this going to be in your zodiac energy but as we come to october october we have the eye princess and of course she had to come up in this because the eye princess uh, is the mother of the moon okay and this is the intuition this is the mother of the earth okay this is the mother of the omega this is the wife of the omega so the eye princess is here and it's brilliant because i love her i i you know the eye princess is just you have you have the empress and you have the eye princess the eye princess is the moon it's the intuition it's the um the 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 
the um, sensitivity of who you are. It's, it's, it's the divine mother. Okay, so this is where the divine mother comes in and the goddess, which is the Capricorns, and the divine mother comes in. The goddess, which is Venus, the mother of love, and the goddess, the divine goddess, who is the eye princess. And this is just so powerful because you're about to end this beautiful year. Then as we move forward, which is so beautiful, so um, the moon is the intuition, but the cancers could be feeling this energy in the month of October, okay? So cancers, be aware that it's going to be your month um, in October, and that's kind of where that there's no air energy because this is propel, and this is propel by um, the energy, this is really propel, by the energy of the moon, okay? And this is good because what I'm seeing here, and you know, a lot of people have different things to say, and I go, um, well, my information comes from um, the source. So, and when I said the source, because I channel, and that's what comes through. Um, the energy of the star is just one of those powerful alignment of energy because this star is the energy of the Aquarian. This star is the energy of the Aquarian. So for the year sign people, the Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra, your best month is going to be in November 2020. Your best month is going to be in November 2020. But you guys are going to be having luck all the year through. You guys are definitely going to be having luck lock all the air through this the you know this the story is the aquarian it's about healing inspiration and um sensitivity and this is good because the the the, the thing about it and the situation about it is that um whenever we go through things we need to take a time and each and every month and this is what i'm trying to teach people each and every month give you a time to release certain situations, to understand certain situations, take the time. Now, there is conventional about this because in December, you're going to be victorious and successful. This is the energy of victorious and successful. And this is conventional because they're saying the energy of the cancer. Now, um, people recheck, redo because this is not the energy of the cancer. This is a fire sign. This is movement. This is fired. So this is, can't be a water energy. This is the energy of a fire. This is movement. Okay. This is not connected or associate with anything except that it gives people victory and success and movement. So it affects each and every person. So it depends because this is um, an energy. So this is a fire energy. So this could affect uh, most of you guys uh, where in December you're overcoming a situation where you're moving forward in December and this is going to be God. So ladies and gentlemen, it is um, going to be a wonderful year. There is no question about it. Um, life is about to begin for a lot of people on this planet. So, wow, um, I have gone too far. So, um, let's see what is going to be coming out. Just the energy vibration. And then um, for the rest of the people, we're going to be seeing what is going to be aligning with the energies. Because the problem is that, yeah, in order for, <laughs> in order for me to give um, an in-depth reading, ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand this year is about um, starting anew. It's about Omega. It's about starting anew. Take this time to reconnect with who you are and start anew on this journey. I love you guys. I want to say namaste. Until next time.